Almost done. Uh, my, uh, my discussion here is nothing ventured, nothing gained, but be careful. I, uh, I always knew that I wanted to start a company. And when I got out of engineering school, I, uh, I ended up working for Exxon, right? What is that? And then I ended up going uh, to GE, right? And I think in retrospect, I understand now that I knew intuitively that I may have known a lot about engineering in my case, but I really didn't know anything yet. I didn't know anything about business. I didn't know anything about markets. And so I worked really hard at those places. Uh, they're not cakewalks. And, uh, and I learned about, I learned my craft. I learned about business. I learned about markets. And, uh, and I always had that entrepreneurial thing, that thing that was, you know, I hope when I'm 80, if I make it to 80 years old and I look back, I hope I don't berate myself for not having made the jump. But people I knew who had jumped early, who had not paid their dues, if you want to use that phrase, who had not set the stage for themselves, uh, all the people I knew who did that had failed, right? They took the easy path uh, up front. And, and that leads to my first point, and this is something I ran across about six months ago, and I love this. There are two paths in life, right? There's the easy path that gets harder, and there's the hard path that gets easier, right? And you know, if you want to start one of these things, you got to get on the hard path and work, work really hard. Now, uh, in the mid '90s, this internet tsunami was starting to crash on everybody, and I recognized that there, the internet could actually solve a big problem in engineering if we could build a system that ultimately became global spec. And uh, so four of us decided to start the company. Three of us were at uh, GE. And uh, we started it with GE's blessings. I mean, we, it was nights and weekends for two years. Uh, we gave GE 45 to 50 hours a week, and the rest of it went to Global Spec. Our fourth founder, our sales exec, my wife, uh, blew up a beautiful career at Unisys to jump in right off the bat, right, feet first. And so it was 80, 100 hour weeks, and that went on for years and years and years. Uh, in 1999, uh, I got a call one night. It was late in the year, and it was a call from a big company in the internet space. It was one of the internet darlings called Vertical Net. They wanted to buy us. And uh, Terrence, you'll be you know, familiar with this idea, right? So uh, they were worth $10 billion. And, uh, and they wanted to buy us, we would fit, it would be good, but I couldn't see what they did. It didn't make sense what they were doing. And they didn't really have revenues yet. They were selling the sizzle, and they were gonna worry about the steak later, right? They were on the easy path. Um, and the trick was that they wanted to do this deal in stock, right? And no cash. And I, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't bring myself to do it. So I turned them down. Uh, the next year, 2000, they were now worth $12 billion. But uh, I'm really glad that we didn't sell the company to them for their stock because between that point and, um, and uh, 2007, uh, they lost a little bit of value. They sold that company. That company was taken private from a 10 or $12 billion valuation down to a $15 million buyout. Can you imagine what that must have felt like? Uh, meanwhile, we, we just stayed rabidly focused on creating value. I raised venture capital, and we built a beautiful 230-person company. And, uh, and so the investors and the founders and the employees ended up sharing in a beautiful exit about a year and a half ago. Um, so the points here are, again, right? there are two paths. Right? You want to get on the hard path and work it. Right? It's not easy to do this stuff. Uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained it's, is true, but, but you need to recognize that there are these two paths. You've got to know which of the paths you're on. Right? Now, one of the things that happened uh, when I decided to jump, when I left GE, it was a really tough decision. And, uh, and I had spent 12 years there and uh, had really you know, been able to do well. Uh, and I had talked with my mom about this. And, uh, and she said, uh, look, you're dead a long time, right? <laughs> so if you really want to do this, do it, just as long as you're financially responsible to your family. And that 
made all the difference to me. And that's something that I carry around in my head all the time. You're dead a long time, so if you really want to do this, get on the hard path, right, and, uh, and work it uh, and, and, and do it. And, uh, and finally, it's all about value. We would never have been able to sell that company if we hadn't been crazy about creating value. So, uh, so you know, if you do that, chances are good you'll, uh, you'll have a good outcome. So uh, may your path get easier, okay?